Hi, I'm Russell Gallup from Messenger Systems in Bristol. I'm part of the PlayStation 4 compiler team. I'm going to try and answer the question, does the Win32 compiler executable really need to be over 21 megabytes in size? This question comes from an early PS4 bugzilla where one of our engineers noted that the PS4 compiler was three times larger than the proprietary PS3 compiler. This slowed distributed builds down as it took longer to transmit to other nodes on a distributed build server. Um, that was based on other VM 3.2. The other VM uh, 6.0 PS4 compiler has almost doubled to 40 megabytes. This includes many new features PlayStation developers really appreciate, including LTO and PGO and some others I've listed there. But what do we really need? The PS4 compiler needs to support C and C++ for just one CPU and one object format. LVM.org assures us that the LVM project is modular, so how close can we get to what we really need? I looked at Bin Clang uh, using Blakey McBlakeface on Linux. This isn't exactly the same as binary size on Windows, but it's a similar enough ballpark to try and answer this question. So this is a sunburst chart showing the breakdown of size from compile units of Bing Clang. You can see about a third of this is from Clang, and about two thirds is from other VM. And most of that is uh, back-end targets. First, I tried to limit this down to just supporting C and C++. The only unused feature I could easily disable was ArcMT, uh, which is required for Objective-C, and that saves about two megabytes. Um, but there's no easy way to disable other languages, such as um, uh, Objective-C, CUDA, uh, or OpenMP. Uh, so looking at strings and file names, there's about a megabyte of Objective-C support and about a megabyte of OpenMP support as well. Both those are fairly tricky to remove. Um, they're fairly quite tightly tied in. Disabling backends of the next 86 uh, reduces the binary size by about 17 megabytes which is a good decrease, as you'd expect. There still leaves some support for other targets in Clang toolchains. Um, we still have Global iCell, which I believe doesn't support x86 yet. And um, we still have support for well over 100 sub-targets when we only need one. If we want to support just ELF object format, then there aren't any build options that help here. Uh, and you can get in and try and hack these things out, but it uh, involves quite a few source changes. So we're left with support for Maco, um, WebAssembly, COF, et cetera. PS4 only needs dwarf debug information, but we can't easily disable code view, so we get that as well. In summary, does the Win32 Clang compiler executable really need to be over 40 megabytes in size? Well, probably not. Um, LVM is modular in many ways, but not necessarily in all the ways you might want and scaling down to a subset of features is not always easy. As LVM grows, uh, modularity is going to become even more important, so I think we should continue to look for ways to make it more modular. Thank you.